Hey, welcome to Resto Rooster OHV. Today we're going to be working on a 2000 CR125R. We're going to be replacing the front wheel bearings. This procedure is pretty similar to pretty much all motocross bikes. Uh, if you grab the top of your wheel, you move it back and forth, you feel a little bit of play. It's super simple. You can do it yourself at home. I think the bearings were under $20, so stick around. I'm going to show you how to do that in this short video. Our first step is going to be to remove the caliper. It's usually two bolts that hold it on. These are 12 millimeter. That seems to be the standard size. Oh, that moved quite a bit. I'm glad we're doing it because this is improperly installed. Now you can just wiggle the caliper off. You don't want to squeeze the brake handle while you're doing that while this is off because it could potentially push the pistons out while you have the caliper off make sure it moves free the slides move free if not then you're going to have to get into cleaning and potentially rebuilding the caliper pads look good on this one the slides are good so we are going to leave it alone I'm going to use power tools, but rest assured, this entire job can be done with hand tools. We took off the axle nut and then the clamps that hold the axle. We're going to go ahead and pull that out. So, what I found out with this, I took it apart, sure enough, the spacer for the right side was there, there is no spacer on the left side. Somebody who took it apart before just decided not to put it back together correctly. That's easy enough, we'll just replace that one spacer. Now go ahead and get yourself a 5 gallon bucket, Lowe's makes a nice one. You can sit it right there as a nice workstation. Pretty good sized screwdriver does the trick. Just get it in there and pop the seal out. Oh, that bearings sound good. Once you have the seals out, you have a bearing on this side and a bearing on the other side. There's actually a sleeve that goes between them. So what you want to do is stick your screwdriver down, push that sleeve out of the way until you feel it hit the other bearing. And then we're just going to work it side to side so we can get it out. And there it goes. Same thing with this one. Now you see the center hub, the bearings are out and it's open. So most of the bearing kits will come with both bearings. Usually there's no difference in the size. Come with two seals. You want to install these seals with the spring facing the inside of the wheel. And then there's also a sleeve that I was telling you about that goes in between the two. So the best thing to do is get you want to find a socket that you can actually put on the outer race. You don't want to hit the inner race, but put on the outer race and drive this in. Now the socket can't be bigger than the hole. It should go in free, but it is close as you can to that size of the hole. That's 
it and feel it bottom. We'll put our seal. We can use the back side of the socket. Now flip it over. Don't forget our spacer. You wouldn't believe how many of these bikes I pick up that have bad front and rear wheel bearings. The rear's obviously a little bit more complicated, but the front's super simple. Do yourself a favor, get them done. Well, that is it, folks. It's literally that easy. I'm gonna put it back together, put your brakes back on, and she's good to go. I unfortunately can't put it back on because I gotta order more parts, but hopefully this helps you out if you need to do it. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, Plenty more videos coming. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.